students in our today's class let us study about division division now i'll give you one sum here so it is 148 divided by 4 148 divided by 4 first what you have to do is see here this is the divisor this is the divisor and the number this number 148 is the dividend okay is a dividend so you see here 4 is the divisor and i said 148 is the dividend what you have to do is first to see this 4 and you must know the table of 4 here then consider the first number here whether 4 is divisible by 1 no it is not possible so you have to consider 14 if you consider table of 4 4 ones are 4 4 is a 8 4 is a 12 then 16 20 24 and so on right so one is smaller so you have to consider two numbers here when you compare two numbers it is 14 so where 14 comes in four ones are table it comes in between 12 and 16 somewhere here it comes 14 right so you have to consider the small number here what is the small number 12 So four ones are four, four three, four two is a eight, four three is a twelve. So four three is a twelve, right? Four three is a twelve. So four three is a right here twelve. Okay. Then you have to subtract here. You have to subtract these numbers. So four minus two is two. One minus one is zero. Then you see your eight is remaining, so you have to bring that eight downwards. So it will be twenty-eight. Now let us continue here. After twenty-four, it is twenty-eight. Then thirty-two, thirty-six, forty, isn't it? Yes. So now here it is twenty-eight. Where twenty-eight comes here? Yes, it is directly given here. You see here twenty-eight. It is directly given here. So four. Seven is a twenty-eight, right? Four seven is a twenty-eight. So you have to write four seven is a twenty-eight. Now again you have to minus here. Eight minus zero is zero. Two minus two is zero. So here there is zero. So this is nothing but the reminder. Reminder. Okay. This is the reminder. and this is the answer of this division and we call that answer as quotient okay so 4 is the divisor 37 is the answer so we call it as quotient and 148 is the dividend and this is the reminder solve the next problem that is 8428 divided by 7 Okay, so here you must know the seven ones are tables. So seven ones are seven, seven two is a fourteen, three is a twenty one, four is a twenty eight, thirty five, and so on, right? So you see here. First you consider the one digit, the first digit here. It is eight. So eight is bigger, seven is smaller, so it is divisible. It is divisible. So seven, how much is eight? Seven, how much is eight? You see the tables here. If you see the tables, eight comes in between seven and fourteen. Here eight comes, right? In between eight will come. So you have to consider the smaller number here. This is a smaller number. So seven ones are seven. Okay. So then you have to subtract eight minus seven is one. Then you bring the next number down. So it is four. Now you see. Seven and the tables of seven. Seven. How much is a fourteen? Directly it comes here. Seven. Two is a fourteen, right? So subtract here, you'll get zero. Then you have to bring the next number downwards. This two you have to bring down. Now seven. How much is a two? 
two will not come here two will two is lesser than seven so two will not come here you just write zero here it is not possible so write zero here okay seven zero is a zero so two minus zero is two then bring the last number down that is eight okay eight so here you see now seven how much is a twenty eight seven four is a twenty eight you write here four is a twenty eight so the remainder is zero clear the answer is thousand two hundred and four thousand two hundred and four it is the quotient and the remainder is zero here you you have brought all the numbers down so the remainder is zero and the quotient is thousand two hundred and four now let us move on to the next problem that is thousand seven hundred and thirty five it is divided by five divided by five okay so you must know five ones a table so five ones a five then ten fifteen twenty twenty five and so on right yes now let us consider the first number when you consider the first number five is bigger one is smaller so it is not possible so consider the two numbers here so it will be seventeen now five five how much is a seventeen Five somewhere here it comes. Seventeen comes between fifteen and twenty, right? So consider the smaller number. So five three is a five three is a fifteen. You write here. When you minus seven minus five is two. It is zero. So then you have to bring the next number down. It is three. Twenty three. Right now you see here where twenty three comes. Twenty three comes between twenty and twenty five. So you have to consider the smaller number. Right. So five, four is a twenty. No, five four is a twenty. Five four is a twenty. So minus when you minus here you will get three. Here it is zero. Now only three is remaining, and here only five is remaining to bring it down. So. You see here, five. How much is thirty-five? Five, seven is a thirty-five. Five minus five zero, three minus three zero. So zero is the remainder. Three forty-seven is the answer. Three forty-seven is the answer. Now let us move on to the exercise six point two. Six point two. Fill in the blanks with suitable answer. Fill in the blanks with suitable answer. See the first one here. Forty-two divided by six. Forty-two divided by six. You have to find the answer. So you, I will just find the answer here. It is forty-two. Six. How much is four? It is not possible. It is smaller. So consider both the numbers. Six. How much is forty-two? Yes. Six. Seven is forty-two. So the answer. Is seven. See the next one. In twenty-four divided by eight is equal to three. The dividend is. You always remember this one. First number is the largest number. It is the dividend, and the second number is the divisor. The answer is the quotient. So in this problem, the dividend is twenty-four. See the next one. Forty-five divided by nine is equal to five. Nine indicates. I told you first one is a dividend. This is the divisor, and last is the answer is the quotient. So here nine is divisor. Divisor. Okay. So next one in seventy-two divided by eight, the quotient is. You can directly divide. Uh, divide here. You see here eight. How much is seventy-two? You know eight ones a table. So eight. How much is seventy-two? Eight. Nine is seventy-two. So nine is the answer. Quotient is nine. I'll do it here. See seventy-two. Here it is eight. One number is not possible. So eight. Eight nine is seventy-two. So the remainder is zero. 
the remainder is 0. Let us move on to the next Roman number now. You see here, Roman number 2, divide. First one is 2 divided by 88. So, this is the dividend, 2 is the divisor. You have to find the quotient and the remainder. So, first let us begin. 2, consider the first number. 2, how much is 8? 2, how much is 8? You know it. 2, 4 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. Then bring this down. Okay, here it is 8 again. Now, again you multiply. 2, how much is 8? 2, 4 is 8. So, 8 minus 8 is 0. So, answer is 44. 44 is the quotient. 0 is the reminder. See the second problem. 7 divided by 91. So, it is 91 is the dividend. 7 is the divisor. Correct? So, let us consider the one number here. 7, how much is 9? So, if you take the tables of 7, 7, 1 is 7, 7, 2 is 14. So, 9 comes in between 7 and 14. So, you have to consider the smaller number there. 7, 1 is 7. Then subtract. 9 minus 7 is 2. Right? After subtracting, you have to bring it down. 1. Now, you see here. 7, how much is 21? 7, how much is 21? 7, 3 is a 21. So, the remainder is 0. When you subtract, the remainder is 0. So, the third problem. 850 divided by 5. Okay. 850 is the dividend. 5 is the divisor. Now, consider the first number. Okay. 5, how much is a 8? You have to consider 5 ones a 5. Right. Then, subtract. 8 minus 5 is 3. Once you finish subtracting, bring the next number down. So, that is 5. 5, how much is 35? 5, 7 is 35. Right? So, 5 mi then you have to subtract. 5 minus 5 is 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. So, next number, if you bring it down, it will be 0. So, what you have to do is, this 0 you have to write here. Because if you bring this 0 down, there is no value for this. It becomes 0 itself. So, you have to write this 0 here. So, the answer is 170. Answer is 170. This is the quotient. So, here 3 problems are remaining. These 3 problems you have to solve by yourself.